Se Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O'Shea. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahawa Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great man stone, and a blessing sanitation to the Akiyams in the four corners of the earth, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. A covenant lesson to edify the church of Yahusha, the 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children, countries, and face Asia that scattered among these heathen nations. You so called Negroes, you so called Latin. And you so called Native American Indian, you are God's chosen people. Right? I just want to touch on this article, right, with the comment you know that Ashley Curry, which is known as Steph Curry wife, made, right? And I also want to touch on the, on the, on, um, on the comment of uh, the article that uh, what, what Steph Curry reply and say, you know, right? Say, so say, um, it said people are um, raging on Ashley Curry for her comment about male attention. Right, so these women are just hoes in Babylon. You understand? For you even entertain the thought you have a man, but you're looking for other man attention, you're a hoe. Right? And this and this and this the and this the the the, 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 the you know the, the, the philosophy that pushed down our women through they know they you know they could do whatever they feel like whatever feel right to them they could do they could say whatever they feel like to say once it feel right to them, you know. These women in Babylon are just who and they fulfilling our what? Amos 7 and 17, our wife shall be harlots in the city. You understand? Hey, we bring it straight and raw. And that's how Yahweh Bashem Yahweh should bring it straight and raw. These women are hoes. You understand? So he said, um, Steph Curry back Ashley after her comment about male. How you come back? She is supposed to put you in your fucking place. Because she bold. Right? So let me just go into this article quick. Right? You know, Seth Curry just a him. Uh, I said like he's a simp. You know, he's just a simp. You know, trying to be the ni- trying to be a, 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 the, the nice guy. You know, no, put your foot down. The scripture says, "Sure, I'm um, sure keeping is where an evil life with a evil life a evil wife is sure keeping. You gotta watch these hoes, right?" Um. He said people are raging on Ashley Curry for her comment about male attention, but others are coming to her defense. Right? He said um, Curry herself responds to the fallout by writing that her confession was made to help women feel like they are not alone and not the only one with the insecurity. These women are just hoes. Right? They are just hoes in Babylon. And they they are they have liberty to be hoes in Babylon. You know what? Yeah, when Yahweh shall return, he can put this earth in balance, in perfect balance, right? These women are just hoes in Babylon. A comment Ashley Curry made on Monday episode of Red Table of Red Table Talk has made her the subject of endless memin, memes and tweet both criticism and support. In support, right? He said a fallout, the fallout from her interview with the woman of Red Table Talk came in response to an ad, admission she made of feeling insecure about disappropriate, disappropriation, right? Attention she received from men against the attention her, hus- her husband. The NBA star Steph Curry received from women, right? Let me just read this back again, right? He said a fallout from her interview with the woman of of the Red Table Talk came in response to an admission she made of feeling insecure about the dis- disproportionate attention she received from men against the attention her husband NBA star Steph Curry received from women right so <laughs> there's the mindset of women in Babylon the scripture say, the scripture say in um, Genesis 3 and 16 that he shall rule over you and your desire shall be towards your husband your desire is not to have the same attention as your husband you understand right these women in Babylon are true they destroy right some it's just something something that really bothered me and honestly 
has has given me a sense of little bit of an insecurity. So how the fuck they're supposed to be bad in you? When this man well taken care of you, you know? You understand? On a financial level, <laughs> you understand? And that's what most women want, to be comfortable, to be financially sung, right? Most women want that, right? You understand? That's why, that's why Chris Brown said, these hoes ain't loyal, right? He said, um, he said it's, it's the fact that, yeah, there are all these women, like, throwing themselves at him. But he, he said, but me, like, the past 10 years, I did not have any of that, Tell me there's not a hoe. Right? If it, if it if it walk like a duck and it quack like a duck, it's a duck. Right? You see, she said on the Facebook watch show, I have zero. This song weird, but like made attention. And so then I began to internalize it. And I am like, is something wrong with me gosh the thoughts are running in the head you know this babylon this is choose that babylon pushing our women either they could you can have how much money you want you know you if you do if you're not feeling good with him, you can leave him again another man right and that's why a lot of women you see on instagram facebook any 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 platform of social media they are posing half naked pictures why because they want the attention they want that attention from men because there's hoes. Right? There's, there's hoes. Right? You understand? Corey, a cookbook author, added that it, it that it is not attention she necessarily wants. So why it didn't shut your mouth? If it's not the way you want, why it didn't shut up? You understand? And this is the, this is one of the biggest problems of women in this in, 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 in this society. Or women that, that cannot keep their mouth shut. That's why the most. That's why the most. I said, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Right. He said, but but I did be nice to know that, like someone looking. So use a woman that have a man, and you want another man to look upon you. You understand? This, 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 this is the mindset of a Babylonian woman. And when, when I say Babylon, I'm talking about this whole entire, this whole entire kingdom, right? We're run by the so-called white man, you know? This is the mindset of a woman in, right? If this cap fit, if this cap don't fit you, to you, to you sincere sister, don't wear it. This is referring to the hoes out there, these Israelite women who is hoes, who in the mindset, thinking that they need... They need other than the, other than the husband. They need other. They need more attention from other men. There's a hope, right? You want other man to look upon you, and you have a man, right? Let me get. Let me get a precept. Let me get a precept, right? That's why I wish I got to come put and put this society in, in perfect balance. You understand? This is um this is Matthew. Let me get Matthew chapter five verse twenty seven. It said he have here that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever look on a woman to lust after her committed adultery with her already in his heart, and this woman have a man. Because the only way can commit adultery with a woman is if she have a man. If this woman's single, you can look upon she with lust because she she, she not taken, uh, she not engaged no man, right? But this woman that the Lord that the Lord Yahweh is speaking about is a woman that taken and have a man, so she want attention of other man, and she have a man. That's adultery. That's adultery. You understand? That's adultery, right? Let me read this again. He said. But I say unto you that whosoever look look on a woman, I mean a married woman, to lust after her, committed adultery in in committed adultery with her in his heart. You understand? Because when you're gonna be lusting after the woman, especially she's pretty, she well carved, she well shaped out. But she have a man. 
And this with this bitch want, she want men to look at, look upon she, she have a man. You understand? This what she want, right? All right, this what she want. Let me get another piece of the um. Let me get this here. This is um Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verse. This is Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verse um. Verse eight. He said, turn away thine eyes from a beautiful woman and look not upon another's beauty. Look not at another man's woman to lust her for she because when you commit adultery in your heart, it's a sin and adultery is a sin to death. And this which she want men to look upon she because women show themselves at her husband. Yeah, he's a man. He can have multiple women. And he's a famous man in this kingdom. So they're going to show themselves at him. Women fall after power. Women fall after wealth. You understand? Right? Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 8 said, Turn away thine eyes from a beautiful woman and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. For here with love is kindled as a fire because we're going to be destroyed. Sit not at all with another's man's wife, nor sit down with her in, in thy arms, and spend not thy money with her at the wine lest thine heart which is your mind which is the word heart in the hebrew is love which is your mind incline unto her and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction because we're going to commit adultery and you're going to be put to death by yahweh Hashem you understand so these women these women need to shut the fuck up right they need to zip you understand society allow them give them the, give them the liberty to be what to gag abroad you know to go on, go on tv shows and speak all kind of man of wickedness you understand wickedness right right let me get this one let me get this one back in um let me get the next one ecclesiastes chapter 22 right 22 and 5 ecclesiastes chapter 22 verse 5 Right. He said, she that is bold and that and actually carries a bold woman. Right? Let me go to the, let me let me go to this word bold. Let me show you this word. Let me go to this word bold. Right? That is a bold bitch. Right? Let's rock you. Yeah, let me open up. Let me get this word. I think I have it done here already. Right? You get this word bowl. Right? Yeah. Right? The word bowl. Right? Be good to it. It's a presumptuous, forward, impudent. Right? Naughty, insolent, bad, badly behaved. And this is who she is. Right? Go to the word presumptuous. Right? It's a. Um, you go this word say arrogance. You understand? Overconfidence. Full hearted rush. You understand? That's who she is. Alright? Let me let me go back. Let me go to um let me go to the word impudent. Alright? Impudent. He said not showing due respect. Bold face. Not showing sure due respect to wish your husband. You understand? Not showing sure due respect to wish your father. Right? So we go back to this precept. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 22, verse 5. She that is bold, showing lack of respect, dishonored both her father and her husband, but they both shall despise her you understand and that's a bold woman right no respect right she have no respect so let me go back to this um this article right go out to this article quick all right hey you women in babylon with a mindset y'all bashing y'all shaking and destroy y'all you israelite women right y'all bashing y'all shaking and destroy all you hoes because I tell you, launch Deuteronomy 23 17, there shall be no whore of the daughter of Israel. Right? 
understand? Yeah, but she she can destroy you Babylonian women. Because you are totally out of order. Right, let me speak of what you say. Right? You know, he come out and defend his wife. You know, he's supposed to rebuke she. Right? He's supposed to rebuke she. He says Steph Curry back Ash- Ashley after her comment about male attention draw criticism. Right? Um, he said Golden State Warrior Steph, Steph Curry defend his wife Ashley um, late Thursday night after she drew criticism for her comment on some of the more difficult part of being married to an NBA superstar. Um, he said during a during a Monday appearance on the Jada Park Parkett Pinkett Smith Facebook show Red Table Talk, Ashley Curry dis, discussed interaction with Rabbit, um, yeah, Rabbit fan and groupies among her among other insecurity uh, let me just go straight to the point of curry say right. okay let me just read this part where he said i have zero this song weird but like male attention so then i begin to internalize it and i'm like is something wrong with me curry said I do not want it, but it would be nice to know that someone looking. <laughs> right? Uh, this is what, I think this is what Curry say here. It's a Ashley Curry um, detailed disturbing in, interaction with, with, with uh, Warrior fans. I think this, this is the comment. He said, um, uh, said Curry comment were not well received by a number of fans and the noise react a level to where Steph Curry himself took to Instagram to defend his wife. Uh, I think I think this is what Curry is. He said, proud of you for being authentic and putting yourself out there, not being afraid of the potential bullshit and nonsense that could and did come at you. Steph, Steph wrote to Ashley on his Instagram story towards the night way more positive than negative with all of the with, with all of this keep being you i love you so this type curry is just a simp right he's just a simp you understand he can be destroyed you understand all right that's exactly what an empty he can just be destroyed because he's a simp right he's a simp right let me get this here because he wife, he wife is bold, right? He's bold. <laughs> you understand? He's a simp. All right. Let me get this. Let me get. Let me get two more clothes off. All right. Um. This is um. I think it's um Ecclesiastes forty two and verse um. Verse six. He says, sure, keeping is good. And this is what Steph Curry need to learn. Which is good. Where an evil wife is. And that's an evil wife. Because she didn't consider the ignorance that come out of her mouth. She didn't consider her father needs her husband. And there's adultery. You want Adam to look up on your lust after you. There's adultery. You understand? Because you have a man. Right? He says, sure, keeping is good. Where an evil wife is. And shut up. Where many hands are, yes, yeah, so you gotta keep sure keeping on this on, on these bitch, right? You understand? Uh, let me close off for this one because hey, so like I say, Steph Curry is a him, a simp. You understand? This is um, first Ezra chapter four verse um. Let me see. Let me see. This is first Ezra chapter four verse. Um, let me start from verse twenty-five. He said, first Ezra chapter four verse twenty-five. He said, wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father and mother. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for a woman. And this Steph Curry, you know, wits he woman cash. Hey, there's a transgression against you, Steph Curry. That transgression against you. 
to show that you have no control in your house. Right? He said, he said, yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for a woman and become servant for their sake. Yeah, you love she. No, you're supposed to put in your place. There's love. You don't love she. You hate she. Because you correct she when she do it. You understand? Right? He said, many also have perished and have air and sin for a woman. Because you want Adam, you want Adam male attention, but you already you already have a man. So these men looking out for you is committing adultery in the heart, and you causing that. So you gonna pay for that, and them men gonna pay for that too. You understand? So these these men, all of these men out there, y'all are y'all are simps, y'all are weak. You understand? Y'all are weak. Y'all are weak to the pussy. You understand? Women, women were created for our sake. They were created for our sake. You understand? We weren't created for this sake. We were created to worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? You understand? So don't be weak. You understand? Don't be weak. Rebuke these women. You understand? We ain't said be a beast to them. But when they're going off, correct them. You understand? Correct them when they're going off. Don't come out and say, but you love she should be in. And she be, she be, not, she be not afraid. No, she being bold. She out, she out the heart up. You understand? She out the heart up. Alright? So, hey, this is a quick lesson to edify the church here. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. With that, what's the edifying? I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great millstone. And a blessed salutation to the Akiyams and the folk and the earth pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.